What is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Schick. I've got Carter Exner, who's long overdue for a video on the channel. He requested pike fishing, so I said, let's do it. I've been excited for some pike for quite a while, and it's time to start chasing some big toothy critters. We've got a large application of baits today. We're gonna to talk about, I'm gonna talk about like my, some of my, like my, probably like my four or five, like, favorite style of baits not necessarily top baits but style of baits search baits uh baits that when you're on top of fish baits that make a lot of noise top water type of thing different different styles like that carter's going to start with right now he's already throwing the first cast he's starting with a savage gear um perch shad i believe it's called we'll do some close-ups of it later and i've got on a blue fox number five vibrex spinner so i've got a good search bait Carter's got a bigger bait to hopefully draw some bigger bites in. Not that it won't catch smaller fish too. Small fish have big appetites as well, but two different style of baits. I'll make like three casts to his one cast basically. I'm on a faster retrieve to start with. He's on a slower retrieve. I'm gonna go through different baits probably throughout the day, but that's what I'm starting with right now and we'll see if we can catch a couple. Let's do it. Any words, Carter Reed? Start fishing. He wants to start fishing. I talk too much. Okay, you you catch the first fish then. There were places on Thursday where it was 74. Oh, I know it was ridiculous. Fish are on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Little guy. Little guy. Well, there's pike in the bay. Pike in the bay. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I'll grab him for you. Just wait. Nice. Just a little guy. You can see I'm in a big hurry here when uh, it's smaller fish. Eh? Little guy, big appetite. Big swim bait. Nice. Carter catches the first toothy critter. Just a little guy. We'll let him hold the bigger ones. That's just a little snot rocket right there. And he's throwing, this is a bait that I just started to use up guiding a couple of seasons ago and it's been unreal. Perch Shad, I believe it's called, Savage Gear. I think it's a seven inch. This thing has an awesome thumper tail on it. It's a killer. Oh, that's fish. I thought I was hitting carp. That was definitely a fish, little guy. Little guy, I'm good, Carter, you keep fishing. Little guy. If I catch bigger ones, I'll, I'll have you come net them, but uh, this one, we won't even net. We won't even net this little guy. Well, the spinner strikes. The spinner strikes. It's a good search bait, very good search bait. I'm barbless, what the heck? Yeah, it's 100% barbless. Well, little guy. I guess I can show him off to the camera quick. Oh, I guess I'm not recording on the main camera. How did that, how did that happen? I guess I wasn't recording on the main camera unless it died. Oh, it died. I think it was recording when I had Carter's fish at least. So, like I said in the intro, Carter's on that perch shad and I just caught this fish on a number five blue fox Vibrax. This is a super popular bait for me up north guiding. Thought I would try it down in some of the southern lakes and it didn't take long to connect with one. It's a small fish, yes, but you can search a lot. Sometimes smaller baits are better in the springtime. Their appetites might not be as large, but it doesn't mean you still can't throw big baits at this time of year too. It's, you can pretty much throw any style of baits this time of year. You're gonna catch fish as long as you put the time in with them. But we are one, one right now for fish, small bait versus big bait. The spinners will work the best too, like when it's shallower water. Sometimes when you're in 10 feet of water, it's hard to get them down to the depths you need to be. So if we switch off to different structure, I'll pull out some type of different bait. Carter's bait's got lots of profile where those fish will easily come up six, eight, 10 feet even from the bottom and smash it. But the smaller profile like uh, this spinner has, they don't necessarily see it when they're further down. They, they might pick up the vibrations though, you never know. I'm not saying you're not gonna catch them when you're deeper. It's just a better chance for these spinners in the shallower water. I say they're most effective from about a foot and a half to like five feet of water is where you're gonna have your most effectiveness with a spinner this size. There we go, nice. Just a little guy again, I'm good. You keep fishing. 
probably the one that just chased me up oh <laughs> such a scrapper even the little guys put up a fight love fishing for them in the shallow water it's only like a foot and a half here water maybe two feet light colored fish super light colored fish wow look how light that one is like almost silver pikeish. There's a breed of fish, not a breeder, I guess it'd be a subspecies, a silver pike. That's pretty close, not quite, but getting there, it's got some iridescence in its cheeks and everything. Very cool fish. Two nothing, no, two one, two one, two one. The search bait. The spinner is, by rule of thumb, is probably gonna catch more fish than the bigger bait just because you're casting so many more times, you're covering so, covering so much more water smaller baits you're probably gonna catch some of the smaller fish too you're just in the long run you're gonna catch more fish oh that was awesome that's a little better fish he munched it that was awesome I'm gonna tell him down take your time work up to the front a little bit better not a monster but a little bit better that was an awesome eat so I'm gonna net that one very cool very cool Oh, they, they hit scare you a bit? Yeah. <laughs> Made you jump. I was looking at the shore here and all of a sudden. <laughs> that is awesome. Jess hardly hooked. Okay, we got her. We got her. Deadly. Get a good grip with your thumb. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Show them off. Nice. Carter Reed ties it up. 2-2. Two, two. Nice specimen. Perfect. Yeah, let him go right here with the head camera. Perfect. Kick so hard. It will probably kick off pretty hard. I can't believe it didn't kick off for how rambunctious it was in the net. Nice. Ooh, better one. Way better one. Ooh. Ooh. That was a better fish. Followed you in? Yeah. That was a way better fish. That was higher 30s. Yeah. Oh, there's another one right here, too. Well, there's two of them there. I might have to get out the the frostbite dragon slayer for those fish. Nice, Carter. No, oh, no. <laughs> that was a better fish. I'm gonna go with the killer. That looked like the one that followed you earlier. Like yeah. same, same, same fish, same size. Nice, nice. Second cast with the bait. This thing is, it's one of my favorite pike baits. I haven't seen it yet. I think it's decent. Net? Uh, yeah, let's go to a net. Yeah, let's go to the smaller net. No rush though, no rush. No rush. That was awesome. Second cast with the glide bait. This thing has been unreal for me. Oh, I said I was gonna go through a couple different baits today. Oh, I love the power of a pike. Big head shakes. Just wait, wait. When you, if you scoop them, you if you go head first, you want to make sure it's in the middle. If you, it's almost better to like get their tail in first, because you, if you get the hook near the end of the net, you'll rim it. Nice, good net job. Good net job. Awesome. Keep them in the water. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's about the size of the one that chased you around, hey? Okay, I'm gonna pull them up. Quick drink. Nice fish. What, what do you say, say, Carter? I'd say probably 39 and a quarter. That's a pretty good guess. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Can't tell with the sun. That's a nice one. Nice fish. I'd say I'm gonna go 38 and a half. <laughs> 39, 38. Three quarters. 38 and three quarters, I'd say. No, 39. Oh yeah, 39. Okay, 39. Nice. I won't even show it off again. We'll just do a quick release right here. Awesome, 39 inch shirt. I think this is the one that uh, you missed, I think. About the right size. 
Beautiful fish. Second cast with the glide bait. That thing's such a killer. New bump board. Look at this. First fish measured on the CSO bump board. This bump board's from Muskie Bumper. And if you want to do a custom bump board like this, you just have to email them your logo and they'll put it in there. They'll do customs. Very, very cool. So we're cast around this little back bay. Carter had a nice fish follow him up and then he had one that short bit him was right there. I had some fish follow the Vibrex but wouldn't quite eat it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna switch up to a favorite, a Shine Glide. This is an eight inch Savage Gear bait. But this year I'm running, running those sheer grip trebles which I talked about in the winter. I think it's just going to increase the landing percentage and hookup ratio for those bigger pike. This is honestly one of my favorite big pike baits. You just got to fish it slow, have patience with it, but they can't resist it. It seems like it just connects every time I throw it. I don't know why or what, but it's been an unbelievable bait. I've caught multiple, multiple big pike with this. This bait right here, exactly. Oh, okay. You're using this bait next, Carter. Oh, that was unreal. I made like two twitches. This thing came up. I was just letting it settle. Looked like a pretty big fish too. Big? Yeah, it's big. It's big. Needs it's a bigger, bigger than net? the last one. Bigger net? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we got time. This is a big one. Wow, oh baby, oh baby. You're using this bait next. This is a gooder. I bet it's probably 41, 42. We'll put him in the big net because I'll give him lots of room. Oh baby, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. Don't roll. Nice. <laughs> okay, you're using this bait. <laughs> Cause that's like almost back to back cast, a couple of casts later. Okay, we're gonna pull up for the camera with it. Oh baby, oh baby. Go Kurt, look up, we're sure off. <laughs> oh, look at that one. <laughs> Unreal, awesome, quick measure on it. Get the bump board out for me, oh boy. Nice, I'm gonna get her back. It's probably 41, 42. Bam. 41 and three quarters. 40 and three quarters. Four, or sorry, 40 and three quarters. That's what I meant, 40 and three quarters. Here I am stretching my fish, right? Okay. Beautiful fish. Like literally two casts, probably three casts after that last one. Okay, you stand up front and you chuck that bait on a little bit, okay? Unreal. You oh, want? Yeah. Yep. Second cast? That first lure, cast. First cast? That lure's ridiculous. I'm just getting nets organized. I was going to grab a top water. This is a good one. And I gave Carter my, my lure. This is a good one. Good one? Yeah. Unreal. I gave Carter my lure, my spot, and said, there you go, buddy. Unreal. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Unreal. First cast out with it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right on. Oh. We got her. We got her. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Unreal. We'll get the hook out quick because it's barely hooked. How many of those pliers? Another big one. Another big fish. Unbe oh, the hook came out. The hook came out. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> like five twitches and boom. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, so you're gonna pull it up, show it off to the camera, and then I will uh, get the bump board ready and everything for you. Yeah, take your time. With some sore spots. Oh, oh, if you have to let it go, we got the net. Yeah. Show it off to the camera. I'll get the bump board ready. Not a boy. It's probably a probably close to forty. Okay, bump board's ready for you. 39 and a half something. 39 and a quarter. 39 and a quarter, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Send her back. Oh boy. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> that lure is unreal. I'm glad I, I'm glad I gave it to you and switch. Deadly. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go through the three baits really quick before we wrap up this video. 
Like I said, Carter using right now a glide bait. Just give it a short cast here so you're showing the head camera. It's a walk the dog action. It will actually swim by itself if you reel it slow. But if you just twitch the end of your rod ever so lightly, twitch, 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 it just has this nice walk the dog action back and forth, back and forth. And like I said, the other lure that we are using today, the Blue Fox Vibrex, number five. Color obviously is gonna be a personal preference, what you like. I like bright colors most of the time for pike. And then the third bait that we were using, Carter still has back here. In the water, good thing it didn't get picked up, eh? It's got some battle marks on it already, battle wounds. This is a Savage Gear line through perch shad, I believe it is. This thing honestly is a, a killer as well. I like perch pattern right now because the lake that we're fishing has a lot of perch in it. Now, if you're fishing a lake with a lot of suckers in it, like the, the rainbow trout have that red line that's in it, which, which kind of imitates like a spawning sucker. You might want to go with like a rainbow trout color. Black and orange is a popular one for me. Albino, perch, stuff like that. So many good colors for it, I believe. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the links below where to get some of this stuff, but if you want to start chasing pike, honestly, Savage Gear makes the best pike stuff out there. And that is coming from somebody he's used them for, I'd probably say about seven or eight years now up north and caught some giant, giant pike on them. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. It was a fun video, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna keep fishing and make another video from today because we just got so much already for today. Any last words, Carter Reed? Get outside. <laughs>